Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to be going through activity 10-4 titled Installing the ADRMS Role, the Active Directory Rights Management Services Role. This is from the MCSE slash MCSA Guide to Configuring Advanced Microsoft Windows Server 2012 R2 Services in preparation of exam 70-412. In my edition of the book, this activity begins on page 390. So a quick background before we get into the activity. Um, we have our domain set up, so I have my domain controller here. Um, in addition to my domain, I now have um, Active Directory Federation Services installed, and the same server is, is working as a certification authority. So I can author my own um, certificates for security purposes um, and help limit what users have access to what network resources, whether that's documents or videos, whatever the case may be. Um, and so that kind of ties into when you have users that might be working from remote networks. Um, you can set this up um, with web access so they can still um, authenticate to your network and get network resources um, over the public internet. So they don't necessarily have to be local to your network. They don't have to be on your LAN specifically. Um, these can all kind of tie together and give them access, um, especially if, for example, you're contracting out um, and some of your employees are working on site, working on you know a specific task or job, they can still use these um, services to access resources on your local network. Um, so we've set all of that up already. This is looking strictly at the which allows you to give some more granular controls over what these users can do with specific files or file types, um, whether or not they can edit them, which granted you can do some of that with um, some of your other rights and control lists. Um, so this can really help secure your data or, or So um, I have my primary server locally is my domain controller. Um, my second server, which has my certification authority and my federation services roles. And then my third server now is going to be my RMS server. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and get the role added to this server. indicate server 3 and we want to add the rights management services I'm going to go ahead and include all of the default features so there's a couple notes here so we have to have a, a root cluster for certification and licensing using one or more servers I'm going to do that on this one server so it's going to treat itself like a cluster, but it's going to be a single server in the cluster. Um, once I deploy RMS, I cannot change the domain that this RMS server is joined to, so I can't move it to a different domain. Um, one thing that it doesn't mention here that's important to know is that RMS services, um, in addition to you know your operating system, your Windows license for the server itself, you also need licenses per client. So that's something to keep in mind if you want to go this route. <coughs> Alright, so we're going to select the default here. We're not going to worry about the ident Identity Federation support right now. We're going to use the default Active Directory RMS. And the default installation for the IIS role includes installation of role services that help you serve static content, etc. Um, if you want to read those, you can pause the video fairly lengthy, so I'm going to try to get through um, the setup. I might not explain a whole lot or give a lot of background information on what these steps are doing. Um, and as I mentioned, it's going to be a fairly lengthy video already. I'm going to pause while it installs. Once it's done, we'll continue. So while that finishes installing, um, I did want to go over
to really work on your network um, and your environment, um, you're going to need a couple of small things that you're going to have to add in. So on my domain controller here, if I can get Active Directory Users and Computers open, we need to add a user account. Um, so I just created this ADRMS service user account. Um, nothing special about it. Just create a user account, give it a password, set the password to never expire, and remove the checkbox that requires the user to change their password on their next sign-in. So the only checkbox when you create the account that will be marked will be that the password never expires. Um, he doesn't need any special rights, he just needs a, to be a domain user. So that's all you need to do is create a basic user right there. And then on the server that you're going to be hosting the RMS services, you want to um, request a certificate from your certificate certification authority server. Um, so you do that within the MMC. So you want to go to File, Add or Remove a Snap In select certificates and hit add. When it prompts you here, you want to select computer account. So once that snap in um, is actually available, we want to look down into, uh, into how to request a certificate, which this seems to be taking its time. I want to expand personal, and you'll see that I have a certificate here. Um, if you need to request a certificate, you right-click the certificates um, directory, all tasks, request new certificate. Um, I have mine set up with Active Directory. And so you'll do it as a web server. Um, you'll have to add a little bit of information. Um, I did mine just in a test environment by common name with the fully qualified domain name. Um, and that was all it took, as long as your certificate authority um, can process and respond to those requests. So there's the two two extra things you'll need to have before you RMS services. Alright, so once that's done installing, we do need to go ahead and start some of the basic configurations. So we can do that from right here. Perform additional configuration. Um, so it gives a brief description of what RMS really does. And like I said, it, it sees itself as a cluster. Um, even if you only have one machine here, um, you can always add additional machines um, to help provide more service or more availability. Um, so if you have an SQL database, it's recommended that you use that, even if it's on another server. Um, for my little test environment here, I'm just going to throw it on a Windows internal database on this server. Um, again, that's usually not the best practice recommendation. Um, it's usually recommended that you have um, an SQL database. <coughs> um, and here it requires some kind of domain user account so that it can work across the network through the multiple servers that have to work together for this. Um, as it mentions here, a standard domain user account with no additional permissions. Um, so that's the account that I just showed you over on my domain controller. So we want to go ahead and give that account here. Um, your cryptographic modes, I'm going to go with the default, SHA-256. should be, at least in theory, more secure. Um, a lot of security really boils down to your users, so... We'll try to do the best we can on the server side, at least, in the network. So then we specify ADRMS cluster key storage. 
And we're going to leave this as the default, the centrally managed. We do need to give it a password. So go ahead and do so if you're following along. Um, this is so we can add other RMS servers to the cluster, um, so we can restore the cluster from a backup, um, things like that. It will not store or a recoverable copy anywhere, so make sure that you either document what this is and then you know, lock that up somewhere securely, or make sure it's a password you're gonna, going to remember. <coughs> Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this under a default website. That will be fine for me. If you want to do a custom, you're more than welcome to do so, but it's not necessary. Um, I do want to force SSL. And with the fully qualified domain name of this server, Um, because we already went and requested a certificate, I'm going to go ahead and tell it to use that one. Depending on how you set this up, you could have it create a self-signed certificate um, or choose one later. For ease of setup, I would recommend go ahead have your CA issue a certificate first before you try to configure RMS. Um, just make things quite a bit easier here. Um, here in the licensor certificate window, this establishes the identity of this RMS cluster. Um, so it's fairly significant. I'm going to go ahead and call it 412DOM1 based off my domain, um, ADRMS. I'm going to go ahead and register the SCP now. Um, so it'll review um, most of the configuration that I have currently have set up. Um, when you hit install, it'll actually go and configure all of those settings. I'm going to go ahead and pause again while that finishes installation, and we'll continue wo uh, once that is done. Alright, once it is done, um, installing and configuring with the settings that we set up there. Um, it will note, us, note to us here that we need to log off and log back on before we can actually begin administration, um, before we can even really do anything in the console. Let's take a quick look. I'm actually not sure myself what happens if we try to open the console before we log out and log back in. I know that it requires that logout um, in order to update the security token for the server. So without doing that, I'm not sure that it'll really let me do anything management-wise. Yeah, so unauthorized. Need to up go ahead and renew that security token. So we'll go ahead and do that. Try to get back in there again. The first warning is because my domain is signing its own certificates without any like global um, certification authority. So that's not 
not anything to worry about in a test environment, at least. Um, so it looks like that did it. Um, logging out, logging back in, renew the security token or update the security token, and now I can actually get in here for management purposes. It looks like that's everything for this activity in the book, at least. Um, this doesn't really have any of the advanced configurations or setup, but it's enough to get you started. Um, as always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave them for me below. I will try to reply in a timely fashion, and thank you so much for watching.